Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Scorpio. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. We have lunar eclipse coming up in your sign and we have sun in Taurus, moon in Scorpio. So this is going to be impacting those of you with Scorpio Taurus placements and it also depends where Scorpio is in your chart. Okay, so also if this resonates, check out the link in the description box to the extended to know more about the person you're connecting with for the month of May, the outcome between you two. What do you need to know about them and your blessings challenges? So do have a look, it'll be linked below for you. For now, let's have a look at the messages that want to show up for you for this lunar eclipse. And it doesn't necessarily have to be on that specific date. Um, so keep that in mind. The energies can manifest months, weeks, okay, from now on. So for those of you who have Scorpio suns or Scorpio risings, this is going to be your first house. So for the people who have this lunar eclipse happening in their first house, this is a time for you to change something about yourself. You may be having a look at things from a different perspective, okay? I feel like you're realizing the stories people have been telling you and the story you have been telling yourself about certain people as well, Scorpio, and you feel like it's time to change that narrative, okay? Um, there's something here in your personality. There's something here that you're redefining or changing about yourself. But this is a great time to find balance between your sense of dependence and your sense of independence, okay? Uh, you may be feeling very emotional about things as well, um, you know, or you may have an emotional reaction to things. And I did mention a remedy in your reading. Do check out your reading. I do talk about what you need to do for this lunar eclipse, but I will briefly explain it to you here um, after I'm done talking about what's going to be happening. So after this, I'm going to give you your remedy. So this is a great time for you to put your needs first, to prioritize things that uplift you, uplift your soul, your spirit. If there is something that has been emotionally bothering you for a long time, this is a time for you to release that Scorpio. You cannot carry that burden with you anymore because this is a great time of releasing and you know releasing so that you're able to welcome um, new energies okay um, you may also feel very tested right now there may be also something dramatic ha happening um, around your relationship situation you may be looking at the person you're into and you may be contemplating whether this is I want or I don't want so th this is a time of opposing opinions you know you may be feeling something and then the next moment you're like no i don't want to feel this anymore so that is the kind of an energy that i see you in but this is a great time for you to realize what are your values what is something you want to take forward what is something you need to release because at the end of the day this is about you your personality yourself you know this first house energy which is you basically so if you're a scorpio rising or a scorpio sun that is what i have for you now the remedy for you is that you need to ground yourself uh, look up online how you can ground yourself, you can meditate or just do things that you enjoy mindfully, okay? Being in the present moment, spending some time away from your phone and things like that, okay? Um, perhaps going for a walk, exercising, um, things like that ground you. So do some grounding work and incorporate the color white in your life, which means wearing it or whatever you got to do, okay? Envisioning white light around you to protect your spirit. Also, I would recommend that you cleanse your energy at this time, Scorpio. Now we have this card here of the tall tail. So for a lot of you, some of you could be, um, okay, you could be between 30 to like 40 years old or you could be younger of course but i feel like look at this card here quieting the mind so for you here scorpio the message seems to be about yourself the story you've been telling yourself it's time to let go what is something that is on your mind and what is something that you are continuously continuously repeating in your mind about somebody or something is there a need for a change because i feel like what is bothering you is that something feels very directionless in your life it, it feels like it has no direction it feels like it's not going to go anywhere but this is a time where you need to connect to yourself first of all and you know, follow your purpose. What is your purpose? 
your and your purpose doesn't necessarily mean what you do for work your purpose can be anything literally so what is something you feel very connected to okay you need to view things from a higher view higher perspective number 41 number 18 number 32 number 35 are significant separately number one two three one two three four five and eight are significant so these could be your birthday or it could also be your life path number, okay? Take a deep breath here. So for a lot of you, what I'm getting is that the message seems to be about separating yourself from drama or people who bring drama into your life, Scorpio. It's time for you to take a step back and realize that, okay, maybe this is something or this is a person that I can no longer associate myself with. Uh, don't do anything drastic, but at the same time, this is like you viewing things from a different perspective. A higher view, this card suggests when we are, you know, objectively viewing a situation, we're able to have a better um, understanding of why we do what we do um, instead of just being involved in something so much. We don't really see things from different perspectives. So separating yourself, taking a step back gives us per perspective. And this is what this card is saying for you. Okay, so I'm gonna briefly have a look at tarot messages for you. So this is a time for you to connect to your purpose, to connect to your soul. Um, listen to yourself, listen to your intuition. And this is a time for you to believe the story that you want to believe in, not what other people are saying, okay? This is also telling you to listen to your intuition. We have love begins here, Ace of Cups energy. You could have a new beginning in love very soon, okay? Uh, I really feel like this Ace of Cups could also be just talking about self-love for you, okay? This is the energy that we give to ourselves. Uh, pour that energy into your own self here, Scorpio. This is green, so this is heart chakra energy. Opening your heart space for something here. We have positive movement forward. There's also something positive I see in your work situation, as long as you keep it moving. I do feel like maybe in the past your work was slow, or there was something slowing things down. But I feel like things are going to get a lot better for you as we're moving forward, as long as you don't stop and you keep it moving, um, Scorpio. Okay, let me actually move it here a little bit. All right, this is Eight of Pentacles. I'm also getting here that you could be planning to travel, move, something like that. This card here in this deck can also suggest arrival of somebody or perhaps arrival of a good news for you. We have the card of... Uh, patience here, which is the temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy. So if you notice this card here, bottom of the deck, we have again, heart chakra energy, uh, sorry, destiny. <laughs> Moving on. See, so I see you letting go, moving on from something, something that no longer serves you. And if you notice this card, he's moving towards the light, okay? We have here fulfillment of wishes, nine of cups. So sometimes we have to take that journey by ourselves, you know? And then we have here your own card of transformation. So Scorpio is the sign of transformation, endings, new beginnings, very emotional. While Taurus uh, focuses more on the material aspect of things. So it is a great time or it is actually a time for you to uh, look at your life and see where some balance is needed between those aspects. Okay, what is a part of your destiny will come to you no matter what. The Wheel of Fortune card also suggests some form of change <clears throat> coming in your life. Um, but this card here is a big message with the heart chakra because this talks about opening up your heart space. Uh, it, it's almost like an energy where you are receptive to what's coming your way here, okay? You may need to be patient, but look at this card here. It's like the seeds of your manifestation. It, it's time for them to grow, but we need to be patient with this energy. This is a card of divine timing. You know, the seeds have already been planted, but this is a time for you to take a step back and let certain things unfold in their own way, which is why I said that you may be feeling emotionally charged or emotionally feeling like, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that. Quiet yourself, sit down, relax a little bit, okay? I'm gonna read for you Quieting the Mind because I feel like, okay, I'm actually gonna read for you all of the cards briefly. Um, so, quieting the mind, meditation as a commitment, the need for silence, peace within, 
despite chaotic outer conditions, letting go of the monkey mind and being mindful. Today requires you to take an internal break and go to that silent space to regroup. Meditate on the stillness within. Choose a peaceful mind and nothing else. You will be amazed by how easily everything falls into place once you do. Okay, maybe you just need some time off. Okay, the power of purpose. The discipline and will to evolve are yours by nature. This process doesn't have to be a struggle. You cannot fail if you immerse yourself fully in what is in front of you now. You are exactly where you are supposed to be. You never have to seek your purpose or wonder what it is. Just keep removing the blocks to your essential self and your purpose will find you. It is that easy. What a wonderful thing to know. This talks about embracing your uniqueness, staying true to your purpose, your soul, okay? So now let's uh, see what is a tall tale saying for you. Denial, concealing the truth so you can manipulate and control a situation. Well, Scorpio, what are you denying? What is something you've been brushing under the rug? Because that is what is going to come to the surface. What have you been saying yes to that you actually want to say no to? Fear-based communication, creating a narrative to hide behind. Ooh, not allowing the fear of what others will think to influence your words, learning to communicate from a place of authenticity. There is a certain place in your life where you need to communicate about how you're feeling, especially if there's something bothering you. But honestly, I kind of don't agree with that sometimes. You know, no matter how much we communicate, the other person isn't really capable. Look, okay, this is me, okay? And I can tell it to you guys because I am a Scorpio rising myself, okay? So we have a connect here. I have a major Scorpio placement I feel like you know what I do is that I don't actually waste time on people who I know they're never gonna understand where I'm coming from so communicating for me is communicating with a person who I know is gonna be able to understand uh, to be able to change if needed or like they actually know where I'm coming from if if somebody is stupid I'm sorry to say like there's no point communicating with them. It's like you're wasting your time, energy, and it frustrates you even further because like, you know? So sometimes I don't feel like that is needed, you know? Um, especially if you've communicated enough and the other person is failing to understand. There is something here, yes, you need to express that this is bothering me, but if you keep brushing it under the rug, it's gonna resurface. So this is a time for you to have a look at those issues in your life if needed. Okay, Scorpio, if you would like to book a personal with me, I do have some slots open. I will link the, uh, I will link it in the description box. If you wanna book a reading, you can. And check out the extended link in the description box below if you are interested. I actually have to read for you a higher view as well. I just forgot. So let's just do that. And let's see. Seeing from a higher perspective, conscious, being, being consciously neutral, letting go of judgment and assumptions, non-attachment, and the ability to m remain unbiased. Okay? So this is a time for you to take a step back and reevaluate something, especially if this has been bothering you. Why? Because you have beautiful things coming up. You have beautiful things that you're manifesting, but you need patience. So that's it, Scorpio. Thank you so much for being here. That's all that I got for you guys today. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.